Shalom, shalom. This week's parsha is Parshat Shmini. And it's a very difficult one because it brings the story of Nadav and Abihu, who were the sons of Aaron, who were told brought a strange fire up to God and God took their lives. And the uh, commentaries go to great length, giving a million different explanations as to why God took their lives. But apparently they don't seem satisfied because there are so many different answers and it's such a difficult thing to understand, especially this happened right after they um, had the inauguration of the tabernacle. It was a really big day. They're supposed to just be one of joy. And Aaron was such a great man and leader and one who God held dear. Um, and so it's really hard to understand. And unfortunately, it just the pain and the questions and the difficulty really resonate now um, that the D sisters were murdered in a terror attack. These are two sisters, just like Aaron had two sons. And uh, eerily enough, this is not the first set of siblings. Um, prior to that, the Haley brothers, and prior to that, another set of brothers and in terror attack and it just it just really seemed to scream out to me um at this time and i'm searching the parsha and trying to find some uh words to help understand or to cleave to or to help to mitigate the pain and after um god took the lives of our own sons moshe says that now he understands what God meant when he said Bikrovai Akadesh, that through the ones who are close to me, I will be sanctified. And then Aaron was silent. Um, he just took in those words and did not speak. And I think that we've been seeing uh, the Jewish nation, how remarkable um, when you watch the, the families are in the news the husband and father of of lucy d and children um and maya and um rena d and um when you listen to the speech and you hear um the things that he says and the dignity and the responsibility he's taken on in addressing the nation and trying to bring Achdut at this time and 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 all the other families and how they've responded and how they've given strength to the nation and really sanctified God's name through their their behavior and their actions um, and this death is is tragic and difficult and a tremendous tremendous loss and they decided that they're not going to just take the loss, um, you know, without doing something proactive about it with, you know, acting in a way um, with um, when the boys, um, Yaakov, Yisrael, and Asher Menachem were murdered and then not such a long time after their mother gave birth to a son and you see the Brit and it just, sends shivers down your spine watching the father name the child um and and sanctifying his newborn child the pain that he experienced but the the devotion to god and to the nation um and making such a kiddush hashem and all these families the way they make such a kiddush hashem and their and their action and the devotion um to god and to their people and to um, keeping the memory of their loved ones alive in a meaningful way. Uh, it really is a great sanctification how they've, they've behaved and what they have done. And um, I think that is really remarkable. Um, I remember one of the sisters when uh, she was speaking after the brothers were murdered, she said, 
Jewish nation, they're not afraid of uh, of, of, a, of a long journey of, ahead of, of difficult times that, that things are hard, but that they persevere and they go on and they um, live in, in a sanctified manner. And um, it just, it brings chills and it's inspirational motivational and um i just hope god can bless and continue to bless these families with the strength that um they seem to have and that i hope that god can strengthen all of us as a nation and that we should take the words um of of lucy's husband who said that you know he talks about the people it's important for us to come together as a nation uh, and when we do come to come together as a nation and we're we're strong and strength, um, there's so much power in that. Um, so may we know no more sorrows. May the end of terror come soon. And may we uh, be able to sanctify God's name through through only joy and simcha and celebration and life. But um, the way that they have kept their memories and their memes alive by by doing these unbelievable things um is something that really does have reverberating effects and and lives on forever um and with that i wish you all a shabbat shalom